right there in Golf Magic viewers, what's going on? I'm Alex, the video and equipment editor here, and today I've got the Under Armour Spieth 5 shoes. Some brand new golf shoes that's worn by, obviously, Jordan Spieth. Me and Andy, the head of content, have gone over to Manning's Heath Golf and Wine Estate, and we're going to test these shoes out. Let's do it. The Spieth 5 golf shoe is a brand new golf shoe for 2021, and it's jam-packed with technology to make it one of the best performing golf shoes this year. Its data-driven design means it has four dimensions of traction. That means it should really support your foot and actually make you hit it further. These dimensions of traction are internal, vertical, horizontal, and rotational, meaning that your foot will be unbelievably well supported. You're on any movement and you'll have maximum stability for every swing. Now, one of the main differences to the Speed 4 Golf shoe is they've now gone from spiked to spikeless, but they still have that spike-like grip with the injected traction nubs in key areas. With all this support, you also have some comfort with the UA Hover, meaning that you shouldn't really take a long time getting used to these shoes, and they should be a pretty nice wear. Now they are a premium product with an expensive price tag, so let's see how me and Andy get on at Manning's Heath Golf and Wine Estate and see how good this shoe really is. Right guys, so that is it for our testing for these Spieth 5 shoes by Under Armour. And I always find that it's actually quite difficult to really give some thoughts on shoes because you've got data, got anything like that, but there's some real key points when you talk about with shoes and that's looks, design, feel, and how they actually perform when you're kind of walking with them. Now, first things first, did these shoes give us any blisters? No, none. I feel like a lot of golf shoes give you blisters when you're first wearing them in, but these shoes have a lot of cushioning and they're very comfortable. They didn't really take long to get used to. I feel like some golf shoes, they all have a specific fit. These didn't, these actually felt quite nice. So as soon as I kind of put them on, I felt like they were the shoe for me and they were very easy to get used to. Performance, that's kind of how it deals with the weather, how it deals with the durability. And we've only had them for about a week now. So for durability, you notice it's nowhere. I feel like these shoes will last a long time. And that's why it kind of has that premium price tag. But in terms of how it deals with the weather, so I had these with wind, rain, sleet, thunder, lightning, you name it, I had these shoes. I had some very interesting rounds with these and they did very, very well. Now at the price tag up they are, which I'll put it on the screen right for you now, you can see it's a premium price tag. It's an expensive shoe. There's no way of getting around that. Do I think it's worth it? Well, from our initial testing so far, yes, because they're a very, very good shoe. They're a very comfortable shoe. And for me, getting used to a shoe is something that takes quite a long time. This didn't. This took literally about one or two holes and I felt like I've been wearing them for a long time. I think that's really important for a golf shoe. They're very supportive. And for me, it's just a, a very good shoe. But the one thing we're missing is that durability test. And that's the one thing why I can't give a 100% concrete, is it worth the money? Because it's a lot of money and it should be an investment for a product like this because it should last a good, a good few years. Some golf shoes fall apart after about 12 months. These shouldn't, these should last a good, I would say two to three years. So from our initial testing, I think these are unbelievable shoes with the design and the support and the performance that I've got. But stay tuned for some more because we're gonna see how durable these shoes are and we'll see what the top five most durable golf shoes of 2021 are. So stay tuned at the end of the year to see how these shoes hold up. I hope you guys have enjoyed this video today reviewing the Under Armour Speed 5 shoes. Let me know down in the comments if you guys have tried these out or if you've purchased them because they're very good looking shoes and at a premium price tag, I'm sure you guys are interested to see how you get on with these. If you guys are new to the Golf Magic channel, hit the subscribe button down below to keep up to date with all of our golf videos, golf challenges, you name it, we've got it to keep you guys entertained for all of 2021. I'll see you guys at the next video.